from not playing buff bots. Can I guarantee that, you know, a guy is multiboxing with one other computer in his or her, her in his house and, you know, is running around right next to the person, the, you know, his other character and doing things? Yeah, there's no way to, there's, there's really no way to prevent that. Because even if you said, well, they can't play from the IP address, then people who are playing with their spouses or significant others. Or if you say, well, you know, you've got to be able to chat at the same time. For anyone who's either, you know, uh, seen uh, guys playing uh, on multiple machines, guys who are really hardcore multi-boxers, there's always a way. They know how to do it. They're going to disguise things. They can certainly come in on different IP addresses. You know, so there's no way we can even hope to eliminate it all. But are we going to make it really difficult? Are we going to say that you can't throw a buff bot, you know, uh, into your keep and then you uh, playing uh, your other character, characters, just run around on the outside of the keep while you get channeled all this power or heals? Yeah, we can say you, you're not going to be able to do that. Uh, Brash and Tell, will there be a silence spell? I think that's a pretty safe bet. Scribe, since you, this may be your first time here, what is your stand on action bar limitation? Uh, none. There, there is no action bar limitation. Uh, forget what you see in, you know, obviously the stream from the current game. Obviously, we, we also obviously had to throw something up there. Um, there, there is no limitation. You can have, you know, as many action bars as you want, you know, whether it's your spells, your abilities, etc., etc. It's going to be up to you. Set up your screen your way. Uh, this is not going to be, you know, as simple uh, as, you know, five spells, six spells, or even ten spells. Okay, I think I am out of time. So, yes, I am out of time. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Um, we will be having other Q&As, uh, whether it is about magic specifically, but sort of in combat and crafting on our forums at the end of the day at times. Uh, and certainly, as anyone who's followed me over the uh, decades, I'm not afraid to talk about any of this stuff. So... Folks, you know, I hope uh, and I know that our backers won't hesitate uh, to ask me things on the forums. So let us know what you think. You guys who have backed our game will be getting a survey at some point uh, where you're going to be uh, asked exactly what you think, you know, about this presentation. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, the bat shit crazy days are now off uh, to a good official start. And yes, it gets even crazier from here. Oh, and by the way, on the Kitten Juggler hideous shirt, for those who have asked, I do not wear Hawaiian shirts around the office every day. I bought these shirts at Walmart while I was on vacation so I could have BSC shirts for a BSC presentation. So, you know, guys who saw the videos from uh, Kickstarter, you know I tend to wear black shirts. So that's it. Have a great day, folks. Each one comes up is one, two, three, until you get to 20. Okay. Screen if you need to. Okay. Well, wasn't that nice? Thank you, Mark, for all that time you spent answering questions about the magic system. And the next one we have up is engineering. I know you're all curious about our UI and you, the community, and how that's going to work.